A symbiotic relationship or symbiosis is when there are two organisms involved and both benefit from the relationship with each other. One organism benefits and the other is relatively unaffected or one organism benefits at the cost to the other being negatively affected. Parasitism is a type of symbiotic relationship where one organism benefits and the other is harmed. One example of this is an isopod on a fish. You may have seen an isopod on the face of the fish or the cheek. Eventually this isopod moves into the fish's mouth, eats the tongue, and becomes the fish's tongue. These isopods can get to be about an inch and a half, two inches sometimes. And they look like a, a giant pill bug or a roly-poly bug. And what they do is they attach themselves onto either the face of the fish or by the gills behind the head of the fish. And they're not just attaching themselves. Once they latch on to that fish, usually a squirrel fish or a black bar soldier fish, they also start sucking that fish's blood. So, similarly to how you students must feel when you have a mosquito bite or a tick, these isopods are just as annoying for the host fish that they attach themselves to. Because, of course, that host fish is not benefiting from their blood getting sucked out by their parasite, but without that host fish, those isopods couldn't survive. Even more gross, actually, is if you students are ever snorkeling or diving, and you see one of those isopods on that fish, they're usually, like I said, behind the gills or on its forehead. Now, over time, those isopods will actually move their way into the fish's mouth and replace the fish's tongue. They'll eat the tongue of that fish, eventually replacing it. And then, if they were a male isopod, after they eat the tongue and replace it, they'll become female and lay their eggs under that 